THQ Nordic, which uh, died, I think, and then was reborn. Grasshopper, manu Grasshopper Manufacturer, that's right. That's the... Am I getting my people confused? Grasshopper Manufacturer is either Shinji Mikami or Suda51. I think it's Suda51. I think it's it's the Freakazoid. He's a funny guy. Um, yeah, you can have cinematic aspect ratio and all that stuff, but is there a way I can play this not in full screen so I can see the chat? I only got one monitor. No. It's just gonna stay full screen. Cool. Well, there goes there goes the chat interaction. Um just know I'm with you in spirit, that's all. Let me just double check. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um let me just revisit the controls again. So the basics, uh You get time penalties instead of health damage. Uh, I'm gonna play through the story mode. Controller settings, type A, it's just a shoot. Okay, so A to shoot, B, sub weapon, half speed, so time manipulation, and then you can roll switch if you're in co op. Time capsules, probably. A time bomb or type thing uh weapon shield and then rotational gun uh, all right i am curious how this works in a multiplayer setting because i've never had a friend to play with that sounded really sad i've never played with a friend there here we go when you're born with the ability to travel through time the first thing you must learn is that you cannot be in more than one place at the same point in time. Oh wait, is the audio not going through? Uh, actually, it should be fine. Special though you may be, you are not immortal. You must give due consideration, not only to when and where you do things, but also what you do while there. The second thing to bear in mind is that your gift, like rage, is meaningless without power. Yet all power on CO lies in the hands of the Lael Empire. The Inkies have disregarded both principles. They labeled their rebellion an eternal war, though the resistance certainly failed to live up to that title. It all ended with the fall of Mirage Mountain. So yeah, it's it's that. I'm gonna raise the volume just a smidge because I can't, I don't think that it was coming across too clearly. So like I said, this is the war, World War Furries shoot 'em up game. That's, I gotta say though, the game is very pretty, for sure. Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, four, 76, 12. Beginning descent. Do you copy? Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200. 4. 76. 12. Beginning descent. Do you copy? Copy that 1200. 4. 76. 12. Cobalt King. Navigation says we're on target above the city. Counter gravity anticipated. In 3. 2. 1. And it's a go. So, shoot. Shooting down enemies adds to the time counter, so if you get hit or collide, you lose time. 22. Hit him hard. I remember having immense difficulty with this game when I was younger. I don't think I've beaten it once. Cobalt King to the pack. Two Marinsteins at 55. I'd rather not have to face them one on one. Copy that, Cobalt King. 20 and 22. There are two Marinsteins at 55. 
No, 54. B. They want you to use it against the guy. That'll do it. Back. Close up. Let's scatter this floating fortress around a little. Bellwether, 22 reporting. 21 and 9 have got my back. We just need to get back to the break wall. I'll have to make a contact. Come on. Go away. Put it down. His reaction to that was not great. So I'm going to take the novice pilot's route because I'm a novice pilot. Affirmative 22. Time capsule active. Let's go. is time manipulation and specifically for dodging purposes, although I could just not. This is how it's done, fellas. Weapons, capsule, shield, more time, and then get more firepower, which is all I have ever really wanted in a game. It's always more firepower. All present and accounted for. So obviously, they have very funky looking ship Close designs. It's report. very, it, they have a, I think this world is kind of steampunk. You know? Airspace in your zone is big and span. Much obliged, Bellwether. Cobalt King to headquarters. 600, 4, 112, 12, in position. Half near to launch. Center mass, 600, 4, 112, 12, Cobalt King. Very good, and a successful drop the move. Did they say nuke? I heard nuke. The fourth unity. Three bombs killed 664,000 Inkies that day. To the elated cries of nearly two billion citizens of the Empire. But this is also where I lost my son. He was the pilot of the Cobalt King, the bomber that carried the fourth bomb, the one that never dropped. He did the unthinkable. Unprecedented in the history of military aviation, he ignored his orders. According to the news, the co-pilot buried a bullet in my son's brain that very instant. An Imperial father would have been shattered to hear of this treason and struck dumb with shame. Me? I'm just a collaborationist father, a secondary citizen who resembles an imperial father only in grief. I have not torn my clothes from my body in mourning. I have not apologized for the actions of my progeny. I have sworn revenge. Such a gravelly voice. Because he's a buffalo. Right? That makes sense. I guess. I think the voice acting for this game is good, though. Monita Point. We call it the Eternal War, but to be realistic, the bombing of Mirage Mountain all but wiped our nation off the map. Since the war broke out, more than two million Ankies have vanished without a trace. Imperial stormtroopers and collaborationist headhunters dragged them away, women, men, and children alike. 
the way we figure it. Data in the Monito research base might point us to their location and how we may be able to help them. We shall take every measure, no matter how few our numbers may be. Ito, it's Driad. We're at the rift. Beginning descent. Good luck, Akita. Activity in the confinement area is about what we expected. I'll make a little noise to draw their attention. Alright. So, I was being pretty quiet just now because I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody could hear that voice acting. Um, I could also just turn voices off and do it for them, but I don't think that's as... I, I think I would be doing them dirty. But yeah, this is... What obviously feels really good about this game is when you, when you destroy things, you get a lot of screen shake and uh, sound to, to go with it, so it feels like... Very, 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 very uh, good feedback. In terms of writing, also, it's a nice, excellent story. I think I saw something strange. I'll make a lap around the observation tower. What is it, Ito? Nothing. Sorry for the false alarm. Wait. Damn. Had to sneak up on me. So yeah, I thought the Sentinel has a really a cool design. Right. I... I think I had so much difficulty beating this guy that I just like I don't know. A lot of screen shake. I'm losing too much time. The music for fighting him feels kind of out of place. The funky thing about slowing down time is you still move backward while time is frozen, so... Oh, no, not my firepower. Uh. Alright, I got him. Did I say I've never beaten him before? I'm sh Maybe I didn't beat him before. Maybe I was... I don't know. Maybe there's a part two. Mine. I hope you die in there, cough. <laughs> Some floaty thingies. 
is just everywhere. He has a good name for a sub weapon. It's called Punk Spirit. I'm in the service tunnel. I'm out of time. At least slowing down. What I'm trying to wonder is, did they know that, like, they have these sentries set up perfectly, did they know that this place would be underwater like this? They must have, right? That's, that's obvious. And, uh... What are these generator things? That I'm shooting? Oh, they have... Time capsules inside so I can slow down time. thing is, I never saw any of my favorite, like, YouTubers or, or streamers really ever talk about Cine Mora at all. Let alone oh, play it. Where are you, Piri? I feel like Grasshopper Manufacturer gets a lot of, like, attention generally when ah, releasing a game. I see your so. watchdogs awake. Akritoea? Say that right. Uh, read the news. That is a very interesting bullet pattern, and it terrifies me. It, like, it didn't need to, but you... Like... The bosses always feel like animals because they co sort of come alive when you when you're doing damage to them and whatnot. Oh my god! No, oh, give, me, give me back. Okay. Um, I think part of the complication there is I didn't know what the collision box was, because you can go into his into the thing's body a bit more. Punk spirit is just a nuke on yourself. Does the water terrify anyone, like, ever, like, being in the ocean? I, I get scared every time I go to the beach because the ocean, like, even if it's just a sea, a sea is gigantic. Hey, baby. Um, so, like, I, I'm always worried, like, oh, a big wave will suddenly, like, take me away, and that's, that's, that's all she wrote, you know, because who am I against the force of nature?
and this is interesting too because so, so those bombs aren't active until you shoot them or whatever and the main form of attack was a propulsion of water I wonder if it hurts you when you're in slow-mo because then you would no, then the water wouldn't be going so fast no. I... Okay. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, I'm out of time captures. What's left to shoot? Oh, only when it's open. I was like, what am I shooting? Is this a prison? I'll pay you double, you piece of shit. Right, so I think he went into a prison. Regis Beery was the gunner of the Cobalt King, fifth in a staff of seven. He wasn't my son's killer, but my revenge caught him up, as it did all other members of that damn crew. It took me circles to find him. The Empire cast him into Boku Mono for rape. And for all anyone cared, he could have rotted there forever. The girl he raped was an Inky named Miriam Magusa, but her racial handicap was a well-kept secret. Should it ever come to light, she'd end up in a dirty, forgotten labor camp like the rest. So far, she's dodged suspicion. Imperialists are too half-witted to look beneath the surface. She was young and tough. But more important for my purposes, she was a pilot who could be politically compromised. I needed her to help me pay that bastard back for the death of my son. Fury wormed his way into her body. I did the same with her soul. I threatened her with exposure, so she stuck by me. Wow, this plot is way more serious than I thought it would be. Although, honestly, how unserious could a plot with war in it be? Pretty lousy raid. 